Greetings gamers, hello YouTube, and welcome back. This is Sinlar Gaming 101. I am Sinlar, and we are in for a surprise today. Um, it's time. We are inside Rio Game Castle. This is hands down the fight that is coming up is hands down the hardest fight in the game. Um, some of the end game bosses, some of the bonus stuff that you have to do is not nearly as hard as what we are about to tackle. This is the fight that ends all hopes and dreams of ever being able to do anything in this game. Um, before we get started, we have a little bit of re-equipping that we need to do in order to make this work. And this is going to seem really weird, um, but it has to be done. So, we're going to go with a chameleon robe and feather boots. I'm going to be totally honest, I've looked at the strategy, I've seen other people use a strategy like this in this upcoming fight. Um, I have never tried it. I know what I want to do. And we're gonna hope it works. Um, yeah, that, that's about all I got. And fingers crossed. Mm. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. So here we go. It's gonna be super exciting. You will notice. Oh, nope, I'm out. I think that's a double capacity. Um, I'm gonna drop... I'm gonna drop blue here. And then I'm gonna drop... Let's do orange. Three two on the bench. And... Yuna on the bench. The so orange, Lulu, and Titus due to the nature of the way this strategy that I'm about to use is gonna work. Or Lulu, the Titus are active, and then you know you do on the bench. And we'll have to remember that here in a moment because this is going to be exciting. We are now inside Rio Vance Castle. We took last episode, um, the Yard of Fort City and Moloch Round One, um, passed through the woods, came to Rio Vance, beat Moloch Round Two. Door opened, Knight crawled out, bloody, dying, and he's like, please help me, and so we wander inside to find Wyvex. Here it is, the rematch, showdown, Wyvex is like, dude, you're gonna fight me, fight me, just do it, if you're not gonna do this, if you're not gonna hit me, I'll hit you. Hey, don't worry about it, it's going to happen. One on one fight, Wygrass is fairly serious. So, what we should do. Yep, okay. And we guarded if it was even better. Um, I'm going to start with this. little quick haste action to get myself set up. And start out turning in. Um, let's see. I think what I want to do. Yeah. Start with yell. Now this is going to be, and there, there are ways to do this fight, um, this is going to be a long fight, doing it this way, but the goal here is we're going to increase our speed. I've got plenty of um, we're going to increase our speed a bunch. Uh, this is the fight where you learn that max speed is 50. If you take this strategy, 
So a typical strategy, the easy strategy, if you've never played this game before, um, if, if you're gonna get interested in this game and, and you want the strategy, here it is, and if you don't want the strategy, plug your ears, we're not doing anything exciting. Um, we're just gonna yell and move and yell and move. So the strategy here is the easy strategy here is you go chemist with guts secondary. Auto posting, which is why I set this up. I haven't been setting this up to be in a future titles. Um auto posting counters hit. And obviously the chemist with a gun, and so you just rank your speed up, I mean, part of it depends on how patient you want to be, so as low or as high as you want, you start multi-turning my graph, um, that one didn't work. So this is why you have auto potion, just in case he hits you, uh, So you just start out, like, double, triple, multi-turning Lygrass, uh, with the increased speed. And then you go to town on him, because you have a gun, and it's 100% effective, and life is good, right? Um, Because that's just how this, that's just how we want this to work, right? Um, the reason for the equipment that I put in, and this is typically the, the especially in, in an SCC challenge, a straight character class challenge, where you don't get a mix like, oh, you're in this good wire ability, no, that doesn't work. Um, SCC will typically recommend things like Feather Boots and the Chameleon Robe because, as a Holy Knight, all of Wygraph's heavy damage abilities are... I mean, they deal like 140 damage. And at most, you can typically run... I don't know, 350 health. At most. Um, so all of his abilities are just, just really bad damage to take. You don't want to take that hit. Um, the town side is just going to love it. I just have to hard. He is getting 10 XP per and go so many turns. Um, Chameleon Robe absorbs holy. Where I was going with that. I really lost that train. So, Chameleon Robe absorbs, absorbs holy. And most of his heavy damage, most of Wygrass' heavy damage, is taken out of the equation. You noticed he had Wave Fist. Wave Fist is actually not his first choice. Earth Slash, which is an ability that lets monks hit for Earth damage from eight spaces away. Again, without a gun, you don't get eight spaces of damage. Like you have to close that gap, and so he can just run around. It it deals a significant amount of damage. It is not nearly as much as his Holy Sword abilities. But, it is enough that that just doesn't work. What is my speed at? Yeah, see, I've got a speed of 20. I think I'm going to go 30 and just please. My last turn before beating his face in order to... Casting this on myself again. Because haste is 
effectively, I don't remember if it's time and a half or double, but it effectively increases my speed that way. I've got no reason not to. Put me at 26, so I need four more. Probably maybe. It's gonna give me nice turns on this set, but. It is what it is. Let's see, the bonus room is that I can do. The, the big setup is yelling your speed up, potentially to full. When I play this normally, I always go for it. I hate this fight. Like, this is the fight that I, I just can't stand. And then, after all the yelling, a speed 50, and I don't normally do it as tiny, so I don't normally pace. Um, once I get to speed 50, I start accumulating and increasing my, my physical attack, and that's going to be important for this one. Um, this was when I hit, I hit really, really hard, too. I just accumulate until I'm tired of, of accumulating. I'm not sure if it actually works, but I have a little bit of superstition that goes with it. But, uh, my life in the next part of the fight, which setting this up right, Titus solos the fight. Like, we're done. Titus solos the fight. Um, if I do this right in the next part of the fight, I will get all the turns. Titus will solo. We'll be done. Where's my PA? 13. Let's go 20. Just for fun. 20 plus whatever. So I want to have, I want to start feeding my grass face in on the turn after he moves. So haste, what it should be, the way it should come out, is so I'll cast haste. Although watch haste cause me to outspeed him. Uh, I'll cast haste on myself just in time for his turn to come around and yeah see I'm getting four turns four turns four turns four turns four turns <laughs> but I'll cast haste Wygraph's turn will come around and then I'll be Hasted in range to punch his face in, to stab his face in. And we'll go from there. Alright, accumulate that. I level up again. This is going to be very cool. Wait here. Check my AT. Two turns. Again, right here, check my AT, one turn, it's got 84, it's speed of 8, so 2 ticks, just in turn, I'm going to need at least 2, especially once I do this. Wait. I missed. Now he's gonna try and actually hurt me. Aha! Anyway, probably should have just cast this right there. You know what? I'm going for it. Haste again. And wait. Alright. 
Now, I don't want to be in range of him, so I do want to watch the AT to get a little back for him. So come around behind him, attack him, put you on full damage, take a counter. That's not good. We get a little bit of dialogue. All this is like the stones are evil, and Flygraph is like the stones are going to erase the scourge and plague that is humankind. People are evil, and yeah, the moral argument continues. Ah, Flygraph down. And everybody's like, oh, that wasn't so bad. I can see the comments coming in now. Go ahead, leave them. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Why just like to move into it? How easily everybody forgets Corvon Monastery. I just is like, you're running away. At least, yeah. Come out here. You wanted to start this. Come to me. Don't run away. Don't leave. Wygraph comes back and transforms himself into Zellius. Whammo. Here's Velius. And here's where my squad comes in. And this is why this fight is so hard. Because other than the final boss fight, at which point we've got people in your party in a uh, regular place where you've got people in your party that just absolutely destroy. Um, this fight is so hard because it's the only multi-state fight. So now that you've fought Wygraph, you have to fight Belly. And look at that, we're gonna outturn everybody. So I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move the extra space, it doesn't really matter, but I'll do it. Uh, and now we're just gonna stab Belly from the face button. This fight is always so hard because with the multi stage, you're like super weak from. If you make it through Wygrass without the huge amount of setup, you. Oh, okay. this is gonna be fun. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Safe. Thought we were gonna have to have Riku's turn. And it's like, Avelius is like, you're just a human! For whatever reason, they feel like they can't be defeated by people. But, here I am. I am people, hear me roar! Ah. Uh, but if you finally make it through Wygraph... Oh! Uh, if you finally make it through Wygraph, it's... You gotta do Avelius next. And yeah, you get the support of your peeps, but... You're still injured, and imagine if you make it through Wygraph. Like, that fight can go bad. So, Alma, if you remember from the last episode, Alma escaped the dungeon, which is now found the room. And now Alma has made her way into this main meeting room where we saw Benjamin meeting with Wormov. And we see a bunch of broken bodies. And and Islu is very clearly alive, and so Alma goes over to him and, and tries to take care of him. Um, and this is the moment where Islu realizes and reveals to us that Titus is right. He reveals that what Titus said about the Holy Stones, he believed that the Holy Stones were holy. He was led to believe this. He was wrong. He's now witnessed the power of the Holy Stone, and in comes Bormov. He's going to 
try and kill people, um, witnesses and whatever. Um, he realizes that Velius is dead. And now his Holy Stone is interacting. He has been searching for a person. And Alma is that person. And so he kidnaps her. And his loose Holy Stone is left behind. Now you'll notice that there were a lot of knights in there. Oh, we're, we're, we're saving. Um, you'll notice there were a lot of knights in there, including Islu. There was one body, ridiculously missing. Uh, but first we need to do some re-gearing. The mandals are good, but I prefer the most of Especially in fights coming up. Okay. Um, you and you. I'll go one, two, three. On the front. So this is supposed to be a harder fight than Velius. Doesn't end up being a harder fight than Velius. Um, but our squad is with it. Titus is actually going to sit in the back. Who is my and one? Because we don't get two squads. And, oh, I fronted that right. Titus is on the bench. We'll probably end up. Unless I mess that up, he'll end up somewhere else entirely anyway. So I'm gonna have him spend his first turn running back, but he's probably gonna get to be targeted for at least a little bit. Uh, so here is Barrington and Rafa up on the roof. And if you read the dialogue, um, this is where Rafa confronts Barrington for all the garbage that he put her through. Um, some, some subtext claims are made, like if you read between the lines, um, Malik proves that he's willing to save Rafa, that he really does care about his sister. And now we get to do a little bit of witnessing. And Barrington's like, give me the holy stone that Malak has. Bring it here. And then up comes this weird person. He just kicks Barrington up and throws him off the roof. And now we see the Marquis Elmdor. Do you remember Elmdor from way back in chapter one, got himself kidnapped? Yeah, he's back. He's also collecting holy stones. I'll ask the Vormov to return your sister. Little does he know that Vormov is not returning your sister. Ever. Um. So we have Elmdor. I totally stacked backwards. Darn it. The. Victory condition says I have to beat Elmdor. But this is not true. At this point in the game, Elmdor is a fighter. Each of those two assassins that he has with him, Celia and Lee, are a fighter. And they're gonna show you why. 100% stop. 100% kill people. Two swords, all of it. Do I lose? Yes. Turn it. And this sucks. Like that is, I'm supposed to at least get a turn here, people. But I can stack better this time. Rams is at the back end. So anyway.
anyway, Celia lead Elmdor. This fight, what makes this fight on some level so difficult is that it... Yeah, I have to redo my equipment again. It's, um... Celia lead and Elmdor probably at this point in the game could very easily be individual fights. Like, any one of them would be on par with Wygraph. It'd be difficult to beat, even with a squad, just all around tough, tough cookies. Same thing. Just tough to beat. Having to protect Rafa, getting to deal with the fact that Malik takes away one of your people, does not help. I mean, for this playthrough, it's just choices, really. Um, but we have to sit through this again. Yay! Victory condition says beat Elmdor. The bonus to this fight, and what makes this fight so short, and you'll see this when I actually get a chance to do pretty much anything, is that all I have to do is put any one of the three of them into critical. One assassin goes critical, fight's over. That's all I have to do. But of course, them not targeting Rafa and Rafa not being dumb and me actually getting my turns is kind of important. Rafa's AI has to choose to run away. Come on. Maybe the goal is to protect Rafa. I don't know, I normally blow through these so fast because... This isn't really a beat everybody fight. And I don't know that that's possible at this point. Yes! Thank you! I don't even care that you're gonna do nothing. How are you going way right down there? That's not helpful to me. The fact that you're not targeting Rafi. Oh look! Shock and surprise. Actually, with where they're placing, he's the one I need it. Uh, they're here to get it. Uh, yep. Well, we're done. Game set now. Let's go. Let's put you just in case. And here are the good it shouldn't matter. But that place to take care of Celia. That was actually a really good turn for that by doing the targeting. And Elmdor's like, I see why Elias and quicker than he did. You are strong, I will retreat for now. Yay! And that's why that fight's so easy. You single target down somebody, they die, game over. At least for the opponent. Right? Which is great. That's what we want. And now we have the standard end of chapter. So the sun is rising. 
Yeah, it was nighttime. It was no longer nighttime. Roth is talking to a brother. He's laying there shot. Dead. Why he was no help in the last fight. And that sound starts again. Do you remember this sound? There was a bloody broken Wygrath on the steps of Orban Monastery the last time we heard this sound. And Ramza immediately... Immediately sees what's going on. And he's like, no, do not invoke the power of the steps. But Rafa does it anyway. And unlike last time, we do not have an evil Zodiac player. By the power of the stone, I like the little feet kick there, because she's squeezing him too tight. By the power of the stone, Malak is simply survived. And so now we get to see in all of the slow text that happens at the end of the chapter. It's a great story, it really is. And you've seen it a hundred times. If you want to just get through the game, a little bit less of a great story. Um, but Malik and Rafa and Titus are just kind of taking stock of what they what they have, what they need to do. And uh, figures out that his sister is not here, requires another holy stone, or becoming something of a collector of these. Um, Titus right now is limited because, because Malak was talking about like why why he was revived, how he was revived. Um, and so Titus is like, I didn't think they could be good. I thought the Holy Stones could only be bad. Um, which obviously is not true. And so Malak poses the it's in the heart of the user. When the user wants to do evil things, then evil will come out of the stone. And when the user wants to do good things, selfless things, maybe the stones can be used. And then we get some more of the background. Because um, there is, like, in the middle of all of this, there is a war going on. So the hope can move on Manton capital of Bethlehem Garrison. Um, doesn't work. People are tired of the war. They just want it to end. Malik and Rafa are allowed to join our party, but we are not going to take them. Um, that 108 gems, good item? I think with my red shoes, I'm just gonna leave it because I get the move one. Yes, I want to save. We're going through a series of unfortunate events that are making it hard to continue through the game. We realize that. So they've done their search of the castle, and they figured everything out, they're just kind of taking stock at this point. Um, Malik uses his insider information to let loose that there were only three shrine knights. Titus knows two of them are dead, so the third one must have taken his sister, because her body is not among the crushed and broken bodies of the castle. And they kind of talk about next steps. And then we get this 
fantasy little cutscene from Zeltania Castle, where we see Olin again. Uh, not with us. Or with TV Sid instead. Um, we're kind of talking about the war, how it's going. Wait, spoiler alert! It's not well, but TV Sid suspects that there's something going on behind this war. And look, he has a holy stone. He suspects that there's something going on. This is not the the real war, but of course he can't convince anybody else of it. And so he has Olin doing some spying for him, trying to figure out what's going on here. And we are going to make our way to Zeltania to Try and see what we can get out of this. Um, this episode's not quite long enough. I think I'm gonna go see if I can get the gold pass. Yeah, I'm gonna save, because if this doesn't go well, that could be bad. Ah, uh, the gold pass. You're gonna bench, you're gonna bench. A lot of tight corners and small spaces. Is this the one? This might not be the one. I hope it's the one. We're gonna put Lulu on the active line, Kamari on the active line, and Lauren on the active line. No. We're gonna put Riku and Oren and Lulu on the active line with Yuna and Titus as support. Oh, that's right, this is this one. And I'm so glad I put Riku on this line because that wizard and Arca are top can be wrong. Not a bad Not much, but it's start. That's gonna hurt if he's allowed to get it off. Here's the moment where I desperately need to smell spell snipe him. Fortunately, because she dodges that arrow, she lives. So I guess it matters a little bit less. He's gonna cast haste. Oh, they're gonna try for it. Let's go for it, I don't think we can reach. Oh, we have to protect. That's a big fire for us, but we can get to go. What do I want? I want to see what's my room. It wouldn't matter, I can't, I can't do it. So you... Yeah. Do it! Done! Except for me to be dead. There is nothing we can well, that's not a kind of thing. 167? Well potion weight actually gives me a really good shot. 
Let's do it. Potion. Wait. Should have moved closer is what I should have done. I used that spell to my advantage. But of course I was a dummy and didn't. And now they're gonna just kill her and Good job. Lady. Oh. Boom. Hey, Judd, what are you going to do? Let's bless your spell. Answers are going to get to go. What have we got? One was a fire three, you're gonna take a fire three. Let's see, I could totally end the threat of that fire three. I could also play the long game. Forty-five percent chance. I really need this. I can't get the guy that I want. Come on, give it to me. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Darn it! I need it back. I may have lost the goal the past. Boom! 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 He's not very good, is he? This one hurts more though. So I at least got a kill and a large portion of damage, but Warren is now my only one who has. Less than two turns to get himself up there. I uh, needed that hit. You know, we could this turn though. Like if I don't pull Riku up, I lose. That's it, game over. I got a small chance. There's no way to get him to the bench. Nope, doesn't matter. I lose the goal of pass. Alright. Um, I guess I'm going to cut it there for now. 
and you think my strategy maybe level up a little bit, I mean, my average level is enough. I think this one was just a lot, mostly luck, and maybe a little bit of strategy, support strategy. Um, rushing in may not have been the best one. Anything really that is me. So this is where I'm going to call it. Uh, hopefully we can make a better start of chapter 4 next time around, but for right now, uh, this is what we get. If you like, like subscribe, all the normal stuff, uh, you don't want to miss as we go through chapter 4. The video on this is probably going to be 6 or 7 episodes maybe. I'm not going to try and squeeze it in, but that's the way we're going totally possible that we could be done by the new year at this point, which would be great because that means I can move on to my next project. Um, please feel free to leave comments. Um, yeah, and until next time, enjoy your gaming. Goodbye.